in the most definitive demonstration rejecting the Trump administration's declaration that Israeli settlements in the West Bank are not inconsistent with international law. Thousands demonstrated on Tuesday throughout the Palestinian territories. Angry factions, including Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas's Fatah, were encouraged by the president to hold a day of rage to protest the move. Prime Minister Mohammed Ishtaye told the media line that the protests are meant to send a message to the U.S. administration. We totally reject this American declaration that has to do with the illegal settlement, with the colonization of the Palestinian territory. This is not disputed territory, this is the occupied territory. And the Palestinians are the only ones who have the right to establish their own state on their own territory. The White House decision broke with decades of U.S. policy. Dr. Mustafa Barghouti of the Palestinian National Initiative told the media line, that U.S. President Donald Trump has adopted the Israeli position. We say that the American administration has made itself participant with Israel in the crime of violation of international law. We will never give up, we will continue our struggle, but it is clear now that the peace process is dead, the two-state solution is dead, the Oslo agreement is dead. Thousands of angry protesters took to the streets throughout the West Bank holding signs and chanting slogans against the U.S. Today is a day of anger in all Palestinian territories. Today our people declare that the U.S. administration has become a partner with the Israeli occupation in its aggression against the Palestinian people and the elimination of the Palestinian cause. We call on the Palestinian leadership to take decisive steps to cancel the Oslo Agreement, stop security coordination with Israel and America, and withdraw recognition of Israel. Several hundred protesters clashed with Israeli soldiers, like this one at Beit El military checkpoint near Ramallah. The Palestinian Health Ministry reported dozens of non-life-threatening injuries. From Ramallah, Mohammed Al-Qasim reporting for the media line.